Hey gang, welcome to another edition of your saltwater guide. This time we're gonna talk about how to put your bait on your hook. This is super important. I see guys do this all the time. They do it on my boat. They do it on their boat. They bring their fishing pole to the bait tank. When you bring your fishing pole to the bait tank, now you have one hand on your pole, one hand on the net, right? How are you gonna hook your bait on? How do you hook your bait on? You have no, do you have an extra hand? Do you have a third hand? Look, you can put your pole, watch. You can lean it on the rail. I've seen it happen a million times. No one's gonna steal it. No one's gonna take, you're on your boat. It's your boat. No one's gonna steal your rod on your boat. You do not have to bring this with you to the bait tank. If you do, you don't have, let's just pretend like somebody else is netting the bait for you. I can't imagine that, but let's just pretend. So now you only have one hand. Now you have one hand, but God gave you two. Use both of them. Here's the hook, okay? We're gonna pretend like, I know it's a swivel. I know it's a swivel. Those of you that are watching this video and going, that's not a hook, that's a swivel. I know that, but we're gonna just pretend for fun today that this is a hook. The hook, laid on the rail. My body walks over to the bait tank. I grab the bait scoop. I grab the bait scoop. I go into the bait tank. I bring the bait up. Do I hold it up like this and try to get the bait I want? No, because what happened? If I'm holding it up like this, all the bait in this bag is dead now. It is? Yeah, it is. You know why? Because you just knocked all the scales off. Besides that, how can you tell if it's green one or a blue one? And remember, we talked about the green ones are the best. The ones with the lime green back are the best. If they're all laying in here, you know what color they all look? Silver. Every one of them silver. You take your bait, you go in the tank, you bring the bait up, you do not remove the net from the tank. You lay your hand in the net, you come up under your bait, you gently take the bait, walk over to your fishing pole, hook the bait on, throw the bait in the water while you try to figure out this newfangled thing called a reel that you haven't used for ever, so you don't know how to cast it yet. But here's what I see everybody do. This is their bait. They hooked it on their line. Then they're doing this. They're trying to figure out how to use the reel and they're hanging it out like this. And then they go like this and they throw it in the water and a bird eats it. You know why the bird ate it? He's flying around up there and he's watching you kill the bait. He watched you kill it in the bait tank. Then he watched you kill it on your hook. Then he watched you hold it up and kill it hanging out here. And then you threw it in the water and the bird ate it. Cause that's all his job is, is to eat your bait. It's not a dumb bird. You got the dumb part right, but it ain't the bird. Okay? So look, what I do and what I teach everybody, this is your bait, leave it in the water figure out how to use this newfangled thing, flick the reel back, go back and cast it. Does that make sense? Now you won't be killing all your bait. Don't pull the bait out of the bait tank, guys. It doesn't help it. How are you guys doing today?